What's up, Fractal family? This is Steve Sterlachi, and today we're going to look at my favorite fractal pastime of all time. I'm coming up on touring season for 2023, so I'm going to be really considering taking the FM9 on tour with me for the first time. Um, we're going to be doing two months across Europe, so it's a pretty big trip. I need something that's going to be reliable. For this, I've always taken my Helix, but this year maybe the FM9 might fit better um, just space-wise, and having the two XLR outs, one for me and one for our front person, Jessica Lynn, who's also my wife. Um, I control all of her electric guitars also, so having the two XLRs out of the FM9 is kind of swaying me to take that on the road. If you want to see what that preset's going to look like, where there's the two electric guitars, let me know in the comments below if that's something interesting to you. But what I wanted to talk about today is building a preset with the stock presets. So the greatest part of the FM9 or any Fractal product is the stock presets. They are all really, really good. I mean, the people that they have dialing these in are all awesome. The stuff that they have in here is just great. Any, you could pull up any stock preset and be completely blown away. And that's a, bit, that's a huge selling point for Fractal, I think. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you can take blocks from stock presets and incorporate them into your own. So first let's go into FM9 edit. I've got the 401 beta 2 firmware on here. So I have the cool, uh, the cool new scene look and I'm just gonna go new from template. This is my easy view template that um, I posted a while back where if you look at the unit, then these will be the blocks that you see. So I really like this. And then I'm gonna name this name this tour 20, 2023 because this is going to be something that I am potentially going to be taking with me. And to start off here, we are just going to hit save. Big part of this is going to be to save. Don't let me forget to save. If I forget to save something, please remind me. And I'm going to go to any of these presets and get something that we really like. We're going to do this with the stock presets, but I'm just going to grab this amp for my settings here and kind of show you what we're doing here. So you can right click, you can copy block, and then you can paste it into the new one or the shortcut, you can go to this library tab, hit save, and I'm just gonna call this SS Clean ODS, and that'll save this current channel. And I'm also gonna do the same with this cabinet. And now to show you kind of the longer way too, I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna copy this because this is another way that we can do this. And I'm going to go to my tour 2023. And I'm gonna right click, go to library, recall. And now when I go to amplifier, you'll see SS ODS clean. Those other ones on there are from Leon Todd's block library that he posted for free. I highly recommend you check those out. He's really got those dialed in excellently. And um, I recall those all the time just because a lot of these are a little bit overwhelming when it comes to dialing things in, but so here is this this clean sound that we got here. Sounds really great with the telly, just a good basic clean sound. And now we also talked about um, the other method where you can go edit and paste the block. And this is a parallel effect, so I'm just gonna drop that in there. By the way, if you ever see this and you see 100% mix, that means that it's in parallel. And there I have a great reverb sound. I'm gonna save that. So those are gonna be the two methods that we're gonna use. I'm gonna kind of explore. Let me know if you guys like any of this stuff. And I'm just gonna go peruse the stock presets for some great effects that I don't think I'd be able to dial in myself, at least not quickly. So we're just gonna build a pedal board. No scenes or anything yet. I just hit save so I don't forget. And now let's just start going crazy here. Like I want a tremolo sound. So if I hit tremolo, we have this stock preset called Tremolo Deluxe, which is a, I guess a deluxe reverb with a tremolo. <laughs> And that's a great tremolo. So if I want to save this in my library, I'm, I could leave that as tremolo deluxe since um, whoever created this deserves credit for it. Or I can just hit copy block. So you can go through a bunch and just like, you could just skim through the presets and find a bunch and save them to your library. But then you got to remember which one's which. 
So then I'm going to go back to my tour 2023. And I'm going to paste that block right there. So now I have that tremolo. And we'll just bypass that and hit save. Got glass leads. So I kind of like this little pitch detune that we got here with the solo sound. So I'm going to save this. Call this glass leads delay. And glass leads detune so that now I can reference those when I'm building that preset and I'm looking to add things. Um, what's some other cool? I'd like a rotary. See if there's a preset U-Vibe and rotary, rotary scenes. See, like all this work is done for you already. So it's it's awesome. I mean, now from this preset, I could probably get a Univibe and a rotary um, all at once. So here is the rotary sound. <laughs> And then here, this scene, I have Univibe. So, I mean, there's two effects right there that I could just take, <laughs> save that to our library. And then where's my rotary now? Now when I go to rotary, I'm also gonna save this as rotary. Here's the Studio Cleans, which has a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, one of my favorite ones, this is a detuned clean. <laughs> I mean, right away, I, I've got to have this dual detune. I don't know if this is the same settings or not, but Studio Cleans, detune. And I'm going to take this compressor. This compressor sounds great. I mean, that's, this is just a tough preset to beat. I mean, that's a great tri-stereo chorus. I'm gonna save that too. So, I mean, even, I'll just get this done so we can get out of here and you guys don't have to um, listen to me ramble anymore. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in my preset. So I'm gonna go to my library, recall, Pull up that compressor, that Studio Cleans comp was awesome that we really liked, here's that. Re 
Really nice, I love that sound. Let's um, now go back to our library, recall. There's that rotary from before. And I'll probably attach a modifier where I can um, have a slow and fast switch for that. Library recall. Studio cleans, try stereo. Here's what that sounds like. Just a awesome, clean sound. What else did we have here? We had that multi-delay, right? So I've got a cool, crazy delay sound there. Cool, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a day as far as the basic preset build. And now I'm gonna build scenes around this stuff and um, really make it something special for a live application. If you guys wanna see what this preset winds up as, let me know in the comments below. And um, hope you got something out of this video. Hope you start using block shopping. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.